Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Amethyst DeAndre Ayton. And this Ayton card might be the best part about today's content because he is an elite level budget center. And that is something that I think a lot of people's teams needed. This card is going to be on the level of many top tier diamond and pink diamond bigs in my team. And so I think he's going to be a really, really good card. Now, here's the thing. Is he a good enough card to justify all of the other stuff that's gone wrong in my team recently? No. But is he a nice little filler for a lot of people who need a center 100%? He's a very good card. He's going to be able to complete, compete against much better top tier bigs. Really, I think this card can compete against every center in the game except for Wimby. I really do believe that. I think he's a great, great card at the center position and the best Amethyst in my team. Easily the best budget center in the game. It's not even close. I bought him for around 20k M10. He might even be a little bit cheaper than that by now. So before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And without further ado, uh, DeAndre Ayton is 7 foot, 92 offense, 95 defense, coming with a 84 driving layup, a 94 close shot, 84 mid range, 74 three ball, 90 standing and 85 driving dunk, 88 block, and 90 interior. Good perimeter stats as well. 92 rebounding, 80 speed, 82 agility, 90 vert, 92 strength. A lot of good all around stats on this card, especially for an amethyst. He's got off rise up, paint patroller, gold posterizer, uh, hook specialist, post lockdown, interceptor, pogo stick, box up, he's rebound chaser, brick wall, immovable enforcer, paint prodigy, physical finisher, post up, powerhouse, post up poet. High flying denier, silver off ball pest as well. Has all the key interior badges already, but I would add slippery off ball, break starter, probably challenger, set shot specialist would be the four badges that I think I personally would add. You could replace challenger with something else if you wanted to, but those are the badges that I personally would be looking to add to this DeAndre Ayton card. And I think this card really is going to be a very, very solid card in my team. Now, his jumper is a little weird. In that it's like that 2k23 jimmy butler release where he like fades backwards as he shoots it but it is really smooth and pretty quick so he's going to be a pretty knockdown shooter now is it a weird jumper yes is it greenable 100 i think it's actually pretty knockdown and so i have no issues whatsoever with this jump shot despite it looking a bit strange especially when you add things like slippery off ball set shot specialist stuff like that to him even a three-point shoot would certainly be nice as well but i think he's going to be pretty knockdown he's super athletic he's got enough speed to compete against top tier bigs at 80 speed he's got a big player build at seven foot um i mean this is a super duper solid card this is a card that i 100 wanted to drop and i'm glad 2k didn't wait any longer to drop him because he is an absolute beast and easily the best budget center in the game and probably will be for a while i think this card's going to be a stupid stupidly good card for an amethyst i'm excited to use him i think he can kind of do everything you need him to do versatile defender elite on the interior great rebounder super good finisher and obviously a capable shooter as well. I like this DeAndre Ayton card a lot, and I'm excited to try him out. Let's hop into a game. See what Ayton can do. All right, hop into this game. We're going up against, uh, I think this dude used to stream on Twitch, Bulliken, I believe is his name. Uh, I recognize the gamer tag, but he's got Ayton as well. He also has Doug Christie, I think Trevor Ariza, and then Robert Pack was his point guard, and I forget who his other card was, but maybe it's a different person. I'm not totally sure, but I think it might be the same guy. I'm not totally sure. Either way, DeAndre Ayton versus DeAndre Ayton. He knows about... The GOAT that is DeAndre and Hoff Rise Up putting into effect first possession there for a nice little easy standing down because he didn't get back in transition. And that is a solid, solid start to the game. We're going to put um, put Posey on Doug Christie just to give ourselves the best defender in that matchup. And he should not have shot that. I'm not sure this is the same guy because I don't think he would have shot that shot. Um, and he misses wide open as well there. And we do get the board with Sharif from the floor. Throw it here. Throw it into Aiton. Obviously, Doug Christie's a really good defender, but he even with Hoff a removal enforcer unable to get a stop on the interior against Aiton, and he's got two quick inside buckets good start to the game for mr Aiton. get through here that's a good fade ah doug christie has pro two. Ooh, oh that's nasty okay doug christie might be nice that's a card i'm gonna probably do a gameplay with tomorrow by the way for those y'all who are interested in that card because he's really good defensively and has a great jumper as well catch and shoot Aiton stick shot for three. Oh my goodness greens a lightly he is looking nasty so far two inside finishes and a really, really nice, um, nice shot right there. Uh, starting off really, really well. Play the slip there. Good D Sharif. And we get the board as well with uh, with uh, Vince. And I'm struggling to speak. But we're on the floor. I should have just hit Aiden, man. I knew he was going to go play that. That's bad defense by me. Not even going to lie. That is not good enough. But Aiden flying and tips the rebound. Thankfully, Mario Chalmers comes down with it. And honestly, I probably should have turned that over. But we didn't. Uh, downhill drive here again. Out to the corner. Aiden pump fake chill let's just do it like nice little deep hash try to run all the way around him it resets for an open three let Aiton back back out and then cut behind doug christie again doug christie really good defender but Aiton does have a size advantage there ah not able to finish that time i missed time the layup never gonna make a very early like that unfortunately 
or very late, I should say. So that's an unfortunate miss, but it is what it is. Um, good defense here again. Play the fade, play the slip. Good defense. Um, recover here. Get through the screen. X switch this. Ah, no need to X switch actually. And we get ourselves a contest on another board. DeAndre Ayton picking it up and running in transition. Throw it up to, ooh, that's a bad pass. Should have thrown that pass earlier if I was going to throw it at all. That's my bad. And then he stops on the break with Ayton, pulls, and hits. Okay, good shot. We both of us using DeAndre Ayton effectively in this game so far. Like I said, the jumper, despite looking a bit weird, is actually really smooth and not hard to green at all and pretty fast, which is a W for sure. Uh, downhill drive with James Posey here. Get inside, and he gets a bump. That's good defense. I'm not even going to lie. And uh, you know what? We're going to shoot a, a mid-range there. And you know, that's a good look. Wide open. I thought he was going to contest it, but he didn't. And Aiden has all nine of our points in the first half. Just looking like a beast, man. This card, number one, salary cap beast at the center position, but also a very viable center against other like diamond and I think even pink diamond bigs with the exception of Victor Wimbanyama. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this card. That's a contest, right? It is. Good defense. And we get another board with DeAndre. And then we're running in transition again. Crossover. Chill. He's going to try to bump me. That's cool. We're just going to get in the post and try not to turn the ball over because that was very close to being a turnover right there. Quick slip the screen. Get inside. Hoff rise up again. Easy standing dunk with that 90 standing. And he's got 11 points already. Looking really, really good to start off this game. Loving what I'm seeing out of DeAndre and so far. Help down. Stay in front. Good D. Beautiful. Good D. Oh, yeah. I mean, his eight and finishes over mine, I guess. I do not think that was a good shot selection whatsoever, though. So I'd say he was pretty lucky to get a bucket there, to be honest. Uh, back to this downhill drive again. Pa pass it back out to Aiton. Aiton, can you blow by yourself? Can you post up yourself? Oh, doesn't have a high ball handle rating. Gets forced to pick the ball up and gets that stumble forward animation where he steps out of bounds. Don't really think that was his fault. He's trying to do a little too much off the dribble with him right now, to be completely honest. On those last couple possessions, he tries to rim run, goes up with a bad shot, and gets bailed out by a foul call. That's a couple of bailout possessions in a row, if I'm being completely honest, at least in my opinion. But what are you going to do? It is what it is, and uh, it's only going to be a one-point game here after the second free throw in all likelihood, which is a shame. But um, it is what it is. We're going to go right back to the quick slip here, see if we can keep him going on the offensive end of the court. Aiton has been amazing in this first half. You can't really expect him to be this effective all the time, but I've really liked what I've seen out of the card so far. Uh, back to this pick and roll. Slip the screen this time. Slip behind. Easy standing again. Yep, beautiful stuff. Every time he gets around that rim without with a clear-ish pathway whatsoever, it should be an easy standing every single time. And he's got all 13 of our points so far. Looking like the monster that I told y'all he is. Loving what I'm seeing out of the card so far. Stay in front of Doug Christie. Good defense. Step out on James Posey. Watch this slip, get through the screen, contest the fade. That is not an easy shot at all. And Aiden gets his third rebound of the first half. He on double-double watch right now. I should have shot that. I didn't have time to get that shot off of Sharif. It is what it is. Still a good half. DeAndre Aiden with all of our points is playing pretty awesome. Not going to lie. All right, second half. He hits a lightly three with James Posey to start the second half. Not what I wanted to see there, but it is what it is. Downhill drive. He's not willing to help off the pop with Aiden very far anymore, which I don't blame him. We've made him pay when he's had an open shot a couple times and uh, we'll take the dunk with Mario Chalmers there. Again, if you can force your opponent to respect DeAndre Ayton's jump shot, he becomes a super duper viable option at the center position because he's so versatile overall. That's a fine defensive play and I needed to get that board. But there you go, you see Ayton inside, he's a force. I mean, his Ayton, my Ayton, they're both hooping and um, gets an offensive rebound and a standing dunk right there. Uh, again, this card is looking really, really good. Just catch and shoot again, open three. My first miss of the game. Tough scene. That was a shot that I should have hit, but I guess we probably made too many shots in a row. 2K don't want to give us too many of them, right? It is what it is. That's not a very good shot. It's a tough shot for sure. A little deep, and he misses the shot, and we're running the floor again with DeAndre. Somebody's going to be open, right? Or we can just post up. That's another option as well. They let him switch that? Generally, they don't let you X-switch that type of shot, um, but I guess they did that time. I don't know. Um, that was one of those that I, I thought was going to be uh, better defended than it was, I guess, or worse defended than it was, I guess. So we try to shoot a post hook. It's not really there. That was a bad possession. I kind of forced there, honestly. Um, it is what it is, but that was not my best possession by any means, and he gets an open three. I think this is the dude that I thought I was talking about. He's shooting some questionable shots, but he is uh, definitely making his shots, and he's hoping right now for sure. So give him credit. Push pop again. Ah, uh, Aiden placed the pop that time. Again, I will be totally honest with y'all. I never recommend playing strictly through your center the way that I am right now. It's not a smart offensive strategy. I should be playing much differently. Obviously, right now, I'm trying to showcase DeAndre Ayton more than anything else, which is actually limiting our, our offense a little bit, at least, because of how 
dedicated I have been to playing through my center, but uh, and it's starting to catch up with us now that Aiden getting a little bit tired for sure, and he knows that I'm basically just playing through Aiden, but um, that's how it goes sometimes in these gameplays. Hit it over here. I had a wide open three. Unfortunately, it's not there, and we're just going to try to yeesh, not, not we're, we're boxed all of a sudden. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Uh, downhill drive again. Try to hit the pop. He does a good job defensively again. Inside, back out. Mario Chalmers. That should be an offensive board. He didn't run. He was in position. He had inside position against the other eight, and he didn't run to the rim. Just basically gave it up for free. I don't even really know why. That did not make a lot of sense, I don't think. Um, unfortunately, the last couple of minutes of this game have not been as effective as the start of this game, but I really do still like what I'm seeing out of this Aiden card a whole heck of a lot. So I have no real complaints, despite a couple of, uh, I guess, rough possessions. And it is what it is, right? You're not going to make every single shot. You're not going to win every single game, especially when you're playing through your center. Probably not the uh, most effective play style possible at times, I have to say. But um, quick slip the screen again. Slip behind. He's getting. He's just playing the slip every single time now. Unfortunately, uh, we are we are unfortunately a lot more caged than we were a second ago. Stop. Pop. Chalmers three. Big shot. Cuts it back to a five point game. I think at this point though, we've gotten everything we're going to get out of DeAndre Ayton in this gameplay. Pretty much. Thirteen points, four rebounds. Not as effective a second half as a first half by any means, but still a very very solid performance by, again, like I said, easily the best budget big in the game. I don't even think it's particularly close, to be completely honest, in that aspect. Uh, so really like what I'm seeing out of this card. And I think he's a monster. If you need a center, DeAndre Ayton is your guy, plain and simple. Out of all of the options that you have at the center position right now, I think DeAndre Ayton is probably the best one. Even there, you see the defense getting a chase down block for him as well. He's a stud. 13 points, 4 rebounds, 6 and 9, and 1 and 2 from 3. This card is elite. No doubt about it. Best center in the game, budget-wise, and it's not even close. Hope y'all did enjoy the gameplay. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.